guys. So I'm off to rehearsal in a little bit, but first I'm going to make some thing to eat. When? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Oh, you're yakisobaing it up? Yeah. Yakisoba! Yakisoba! But that's quite like cheap for... Look, it's the fish flakes. See how they move? Like they're alive? Oh, that's why I don't like them! Because they're alive. They're like dancing in your mouth. Ew. Yeah, no, they're getting picked off. Oh, see, she's not going to eat them either. Go ahead and say hi. No. Show them how you enjoy your yakisoba. No. No. You're like, ow. Mm. Oh, they're so yummy. <laughs> that's Gwen's unimpressed face. Oh, and mayo. This is a Japanese thing, guys. Put mayo on everything! Everything. I'm going to zoom in on the mayo. Mayo. Forever mayo. Ooh. Say bye-bye, Gwen. Enjoy your <laughs> Um. Anyway, so I'm going to make the miso soup before I leave for work. And, it's, ah, and I put my dashi in there. And as you can see, it's boiling too much. It's bubbling. So the dashi I make from the kombu, the seaweed, you just soak it for a few hours and then all the flavor from the seaweed, all the minerals get in the water. And then I use just that very simple version. Um, and then I have my dehydrated um, ingredients, basically the seaweed, the tofu, the onion, the tamanegi, everything in here. So when I put that in my bowl, I put a little bit of that in here. and dry. And then I will take the dashi, the soup stock is dashi, which is in here nice and hot. They're well, not supposed to let it boil, but <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. Whoops! And then I'll put it in my bowl. And this is the miso in here. The miso, Japanese miso. And this is like, um, I like to get the, the really natural ones. Mmm, smells so good miso. Um, yeah, the, I don't like the ones that have already the the fish stock in it, the fish paste and all that. And then, let me grab a spoon over here. And then I just take a spoonful of miso. Ta -da! And then I just put it in here. Down here, so you can see. Can you see? Ooh. And then I mix it, and then the miso will dissolve. Um, so this is not the proper way to make miso soup, not at all. <laughs> this is kind of my cheat version. Um, basically, you can get just instant packages of miso, and it'll just be like the dehydrated vegetables, and then it'll be the stock will be kind of um, like a, the powder with like the stock flavor, and then. You add that, and then you have like a little packet of miso, and then you would um, put the hot water and then the packet of miso, and it's basically the same thing I'm doing, except that I want to have control over what miso I'm eating. You know, I want to make sure I'm getting like the healthy kind without the preservatives and all that stuff, because I'm a little bitch anal about those things. So, yeah, so that's why I kind of make do my own version, and that way I can just buy these. And then I buy my own miso, and then I know what I'm doing, and I can make my own um, stock without any added salt or anything else. And so, yes, yeah, so this is how I make miso soup. So I will be eating some miso soup and some brown rice today. And then I have, yeah, my rehearsal. Because I basically do kids' shows. Well, one of my jobs, I do different things here in Japan, but one of them is I actually, yeah, I do, like, like little, well, this one I'm doing is like a musical, and it's for kids, um, and it's in English, so basically it's a way for them to um, to learn English in a way that's more fun. Um, so yeah, you know, by watching a musical, by watching a show. So, <clears throat> so that's the one. So that's what I do, pretty much. We also do smaller events. We have like a big musical, which is the one that. I'm going to go to rehearsal for now, which is actually it's my first year doing the big musical, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you know, like we get like a real big stage, we have a crew that travels with us, and it's, it's, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then there's also small events, which I also do, and those 
um, it's usually just three teachers perform slash performers and like one Japanese lady who will do our sound and stuff and then we you know we will go to different halls different community centers and we just kind of set it up ourselves and then we do the shows um, and then and then yeah we usually will go for the weekend and do them all over Japan so that's why I get to travel so much um, but yes my miso soup is pretty much ready so I will Itadakimasu this up, okay? Itadakimasu is what you say before you eat. It's like, I have received this meal, I am receiving this meal. Itadakimasu! So, yes, that's what you say in Japanese. Anyway, this is my miso soup now. Woohoo! And then I will get my chopsticks and I will eat it. Thumb up. Alright, so I'm taking off my mask. Um, so I'm on my way to rehearsal now. Um, as I was telling you guys, and yeah, I have this mask on. In Japan and in Asian countries, basically, it's really normal to wear a mask. I'm wearing it because I've had a bit of a cold the last few days. Um, so, to protect all of this, I don't want to get too much gunk in there. And sometimes I wear it just to keep the smog out. Japan is not so bad. Like, the pollution isn't horrible here or anything. Um, not where I live. But I am by like this main road. And on my way to work from my apartment to my office, rehearsal space place, I'm always on this main road. So yeah, there's a lot of cars and exhaust and fumes and all these things. So sometimes if I'm feeling kind of, you know, like to protect my lungs a little bit or my voice, I'll wear the mask. But I'll take it off now so you guys can um, hear me clearly. But yeah, so after rehearsal, and actually the show we're doing now, it's called Billy and the King. So. I'm a princess in it, and today the costume guy is coming to rehearsal, so we get to see our costume for the first time, try them on. I'm actually pretty excited about it because like these big dresses, these big skirts. It's gonna get really hot on stage, I'm sure, but it's exciting, especially because lately I've been into Game of Thrones. So when I found out that the musical was, you know, about a royal family, I was really excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I get to wear a pretty dress like Sansa and, and Cersei and all those people on Game of Thrones. So this is a little bit of where I work. Actually, this is in Ogikubo in Japan. And I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of the street. So as you can see, that's the main intersection. Woo, big truck. And, uh... And yeah, a little taste of Tokyo for y'all. I think my co-workers are across the street. Say hello. I'm making YouTube videos now, like a video vlog. Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, oh, that's lovely, home. Brandon. Yeah, yeah carnival crew. Video. You can't predict this. <laughs> oh, great. This is going to be fun here, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Leah. All right, so this is the carnival crew, guys. Here we are at the rehearsal space. Hello, Danny. Danny, say hi. Hi, baby. Woo! You're still recording? Yeah. You so, can my name is Brandon for all you uh, YouTube people out there, and I'm the star of the show. Peace out. Actually, this is the real star of the show. Billy's Ball, the real star of the show, right here. The right here. The ball. Oh, boy. Great, guys. I guess this is mine. Yeah. Oh, boy, okay, let's try this on. It's our royal family. <laughs> this is amazing. Look how beautiful these are. King Danny is kapkoi. Hi there. Hello. Oh, this is our princess, my mother. There you go. <laughs> Right. Oh, we get accessories and everything, guys. This is my dress. I'm the chill. I'm the the little girl. And there's Brandon. He's my little brother. So we're the children. What's that? We're the children. Yes, we are. We look like children. So Hi, Zozo. I'm 
Do that. Ready? Dee da dee da dee. So, 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 so,